This video shows you how to enter and use master data in CHVAC. Click the More Design tab on the General Project Data window. Before we look at the master data window, let's check the cooling calculation method input since it will determine which set of master data to use in the project. It is currently set to the CLTD method, which is the default setting. That means we will need to define our master data using the CLTD inputs. Click the drop down help button for the cooling calculation method input. The drop down help for this input explains that if we want to, we can define both CLTD and RTS master data and use this input to switch from one method to the other to compare results. The RTS method is generally more accurate while the CLTD method makes it a little easier to define a material. Click the M button in the toolbar to open the master data window. In this example, we will only define a CLTD roof material. If we wanted to also see the results from the RTS method, we could define equivalent materials here being sure to enter the corresponding materials using the same row numbers we use in the CLTD inputs. Let's take a quick look at the other types of master data items. Click the Walls tab, and click the Glass tab. Now click the Partitions tab. Since the load on partitions is simply equal to the partition's area times its U-value times the temperature difference, there's no need for separate CLTD and RTS definitions. Click the Shading tab. And for shading devices, there is also no need for separate definitions for CLTD and RTS methods. Let's return to the Roofs tab. Let's take a look at the drop down help windows for the CLTD roof inputs. As with most inputs in the program, there are drop down help buttons to the right of each input, but the master data window also includes a drop down help button to the left of each row. Click the left button. This dialog offers several features that make it easy to select master roofs in your project. The tabs at the top of the window let you choose from favorite materials you have defined, recent materials you have selected, and custom materials you have defined. There are also tabs to the left of the custom tab that let you define your roof by selecting various options. Click the Flat Roof tab. These options come from an ACCA publication called Manual In, which is based on a simplification of the CLTD method. As you select options, the values for the four master roof inputs will change to reflect your selections. Click the option for a suspended ceiling and notice that the In shown under Suspended Ceiling in the Properties frame, will change to a Y. The U-Factor item under Properties will also change. Now select a different option for Decked Insulation and notice that the Properties inputs change again. Let's select a different option for the Ceiling Insulation too. Click to select Dark for the Roof Color. And finally, select a different item under the Deck options. Each of the four inputs for the master roof have been updated to reflect the options we selected. Click OK to accept our selections and close this window. Now that we have defined a master roof, Let's open the Room Data window and select that master roof to use for a room. The Room Data window is where we enter individual instances of the master data items in the project. 
Click the drop down help button beside the roof type input to display the master roof items from which we can choose. Here's the master roof we defined earlier. Click to select master roof 1. The current room has two different roof types, so let's select a different master roof for this room's roof number 2. Since we haven't yet defined Master Roof 2, when we click Item Number 2, a window will pop up that lets us define it. The Define Master Roof dialog lets us define Master Roof 2 just as we did on the Master Data window for Master Roof 1. Click the button to the left of the first input to open the window that gives us several options to define the roof. This time we will select the Ceiling Under Ventilated Attic tab. Once again, the Properties area shows us the results of our selections in the four main master roof inputs. Click OK to copy these inputs back to the Define Master Roof dialog. And finally, click OK to finish defining Master Roof 2 and close this window. Now let's confirm that the drop-down help window for the roof type shows our master roof number 2 that we just defined. We can see that master roof number 2 shows up in the drop-down help windows list, so let's click the drop-down help button again to close that window. Let's use CHVAC's taskbar to bring the master data window back to the front. We can see that Master Roof 2 shows up on the Master Data window also, even though we defined it with the pop-up Define Master Roof window. Thanks for watching.